Let's try out 2008 AMC 12B problem 23. The sum of the base 10 logarithms of the divisor of 10 to the nth power is 792. What is n? It's a very short question, but there's a lot into it, so let's get to it. So we have 10 to the nth, and we are finding divisors of this. So there is going to be all the way from 1 to 10 to the nth, and you are taking a base 10 logarithms, so you're doing log base, let's call the first divisor to be a, second divisor to be c, and it's going to go on. So we have log of a, so one of the divisors of 10 to the nth, plus log of b, plus, and you are going on, plus log of some, some variable, Let, let's call it, let's call it uh, some x sub n. So we are summing all of this up and realize because of property of a logarithm, this thing is going to be log of all the product the, when all the factors of 10 to the n is multiplied together all the way to x sub n. So what we want to find is that log of the product, product of factors of 10 to the n's, so we know log uh, log base 10, a product of factors of 10 to the n's is 792. So all we have to do is somehow find the product of the factors of 10 to the n's. And there is a handy in the formula for finding product of factors of a number, and let me just show it to you. Let's consider 12. 12 can be represented as 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4, and it has 6 factors. So six factors, and realize when you multiply all of these factors together, you get 12 times 12 times 12, or 12 cubed. So the product of the factors of 12 is 12 cubed, or 12 to the 6 divided by the second power, and this is going to work every single time. So the product, product of factors, product of all factors of some x is equal to x raised to the number of factors of x, which is uh, written as d of x, divided by 2. And you may say, what if the number is a perfect square? So let me just show you the case and go on. For 25, you have 1 and 25, and you also have 5. So these are the three, these are all of the factors of 25. And realize the, when you multiply all of the factors, you get 25 to the 3 halves. That gets you 25 to the first power, this thing gets you 25 to the 1 half, so it works out just the same. So we're going to apply this. So we know, we want to find product of factors of 10 to the nth, so that's going to be 10 to the nth raised to the, the number of divisors, number of divisors of 10 to, the, 10 to the nth. And what is that? Well, we know 10 to the nth can be written as, 10 to the nth can be written as 2 to the nth, times 5 to the nth. So the number of divisors is going to be n plus 1 times n plus 1. And you may say, why? And here's the reason. How many, all of the divisors of 10 to the nth is going to have some number of 2s and some number of 5s. And we want to know how many ways we can choose both of them. And you can have either 1, 2, you can have 2, 2s, you can have 3, 2s, all the way to n, 2s, or you can even have 0, 2s. And you can have 0, 5s, 1, 5, all the way to n, 5s. So we have n plus 1 choices for number of 2s, n plus 1 choices for number of 5s. So the number of factors turn out to be n plus 1 times n plus 1 or n plus 1 squared. And you're dividing this by 2. And we are getting, we are getting, and we are taking log, log base 10 of this. So you're doing log base 10 of this number, 10 times n plus 1 squared over 2. And you are getting, you are getting 792. So let's get back to this, 792. And log base 10 and exponentiating something to 10 cancel out the log base, log and the, and the 10. So we have n times n plus 1 squared over 2 is 792, or n times n plus 1 squared is 4, 8, 1584. So let's try out factoring 1584 to find the n. So 1584, well, 4 goes into it, so that's 4 times uh, 3, 12, 38, 9, 6, and you can get another 4 out. So 4 times 4 times uh, 99. So we have 4 times 4 times 9 times 11, so that's 1584. And how are you going to put it in the form of n times n plus 1 squared? Well, you can do it by doing 11 times 
12 squared. You have 4 times 4 times 9, which, which, get, which is the same thing as 4 times 3 squared. You have 2 4s and 2 3s in 9, and you have 11. So we have 11 times 12 squared is n times n plus 1 squared, or n is 11. And that's it. So which one has 11? The answer is A.